There are many reasons why coaches make the decisions that they do. Sometimes they do because they have someone crunch the numbers for them, and they play the probability game and the odds. Sometimes they do because of past experiences in previous games, and they learn from their mistakes. Sometimes they do it based off of what their players are feeling, and based off of the momentum and the flow of the game. But imagine a coach saying that he made a controversial decision in a playoff game and defending it because a video game told him to do it. Seriously. Amazingly enough, though, in the 1991 wildcard round between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Raiders, that's exactly what happened. This is the story of the time that Marty Schottenheimer made a decision based off of playing a game of Madden. Here's the context behind the play. It's December 28th, 1991, and the Kansas City Chiefs are facing the Los Angeles Raiders in this AFC wildcard game. This is a huge game for the Chiefs, not just because it's the playoffs, but because they have not won a playoff game since they won Super Bowl IV more than 20 years before. Since the merger, they had never won a playoff game, and this home game against a Raider team led by rookie quarterback Tom Marinovich seemed like a golden opportunity. It's the fourth quarter, and the Chiefs are leading this one 7-6. Obviously, Kansas City's defense is playing incredibly well, as they've allowed just two field goals and have forced the Raiders to turn it over four times, including on their most recent drive, when Marcus Allen fumbled the football. At this point, the Chiefs have held the ball since the three-minute mark in the third quarter, and were putting together a lengthy drive that had them deep in the red zone. First down, and Barry Ward gets the handoff. He makes it down to the one-yard line. Second down, and it's Word again. Nothing doing. Third down, and once again, they give it to Word. And once again, nothing doing. It's fourth down on about the half-yard line. Now, most coaches in this situation would go for it, and the incentive to go for it back in 1991 was huge, because there was no two-point conversion. In a 7-6 ball game, if the Chiefs get the half-yard necessary and cross the goal line, then as long as Nick Lowry hits the extra point, the Chiefs are good to go with a 14-6 two-possession lead. And seeing as Lowry was perfect on extra points that year, and had missed a grand total of two extra points over the previous eight years, we can assume that he would drill it. Even if the Chiefs don't get it, with how bad the Raider offense was playing, they have them pinned pretty deep, and should be able to get a stopping at the ball back. But Schottenheimer decides not to do that. He decides to go against conventional football wisdom, and go against the analytics, and instead, sends Nick Lowry out to kick a field goal from the half-yard line. Naturally, the crowd boos, because this is not something that you see anyone do. Lowry hits the 18-yard chip shot, the Chiefs lead 10-6, and it somehow winds up working out in the end, as the Chiefs win the game by that score. That decision was controversial, though, and Schottenheimer was asked about it after the game. Why did he kick the field goal and not go for it? Was it because he trusted his defense to not allow a touchdown? Was it because after a long drive like that, he wanted to make sure he could come up with some points, especially after getting stuffed on the last two plays? Turns out, it was neither of those reasons. The reason why he did it, I kid you not, was because of an experience he had playing what I can assume is John Madden Football 2. The day before, Marty was playing that video game with his son Brian. Marty had the lead on a fourth and one at midfield with two minutes left and he decided, instead of punting it away, to go for it. Brian stuffed him, then drove down the field, killed the clock, and won on a game-winning field goal with 10 seconds left. Marty said that on the basis of that, we better go ahead and take the points. Then at the press conference, he pointed at his son and said, you got me yesterday, but we're getting points today. Marty Schottenheimer won 200 games in his career as a head coach. He's arguably the greatest coach in NFL history to never make it to a Super Bowl. He's been a head coach in the NFL for over two decades, having success almost everywhere he's been. And yet, arguably the biggest coaching decision of his career in a playoff game was made because of his experience playing a video game. Be sure to check out Twitch every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern for your chance to play NFL trivia and win cash prizes. Link in the description below. Also, special links to all of our Patreon supporters for helping out the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. So you can become a patron and request future video topics in the description below.